Hello, I'm Jan Keno, and today I'll be showing you how to install Powder Toy. Now, if you don't know, Powder Toy is a sandbox simulation game in which it simulates multiple properties such as, uh, say, temperature, pressure, stuff like that. It's pretty simple, but it has a lot of potential, and it you can do some very complex things with it. So. At this first episode, I'll just be teaching you how to install it. It's relatively simple. You'll need an account, so you press the register button. And when you register, you have to input your username and your desired username. Mine is jklujm. Your email address. They won't. I have not once received an email from Powder Toys, so they will not spam you. Re enter the email, password, re enter password. That was my dog. Yeah. Uh, and then this aspect. So it's relatively simple not much to it so once you've installed it oh well, no once you've uh, made an account you go back to the download page and you download powder toy I've actually already downloaded it so there's no point in me doing this but once you d download it you would open it and then you can run you have to unzip it of course but so just extract this to wherever you want you actually only need this don't worry about these three powder legacy is if you have a kind of old computer you don't usually need to worry just just uh, unless you're the exception just use this and extract it and run it and after you run it it'll ask you if you want if it wants it'll ask you if you want to install powder toy on the computer you just say yes and I had a lot of trouble actually finding where it installed it. It doesn't really tell you. It just happened so fast. So I'm going to show you where you find that. So you have to go to a folder in your user's uh, folder here. So like uh, you go to your computer, go to the disk, go to users. Mine is boys because I have lots of younger brothers. And you will just do this app data. Now this might you might know about this if you've ever played Minecraft, because the Minecraft folders are in this app data folder as well. So you go to local, you go to virtual store, program file, actually just normal program files, and powder would be here, and this is your stuff. It's pretty small downloaded. You don't actually need to worry about it. And if you run this application anywhere anywhere on the computer, it will use the files from this directory. So you don't actually need to worry about it so you can just have the application itself on your desktop and you'll be fine although it does generate like a little it generates files when you uh, start it up and the files go away after you close it so I recommend just making a shortcut from here to the desktop that's the clean way to do it it works either way so Thank you for watching the, this first episode in a long series that I plan to do. I have a two-page sheet of paper right here with uh, all my plans for the future episodes. So tell me what you think of this episode. Tell me what I might be able to do better. I know I haven't actually done any gameplay yet, but I'm just trying to help out with installing. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later.